Well, hello! Welcome back to our FCS Dynasty, folks! Today we've got, I don't know how many games we're going to play, but it's going to be a bunch. First off, we're going to start with the San Diego Toreros at the Idaho State Bengals. We tried this, I think, on Tuesday, and my entire town lost power. So, you know, the stream froze, and yeah, my computer never turned back on that day, because it was so frustrating. But here we are, we're going to try it again, and hopefully, my town does not lose power. Toreros, 5-2 on the season, riding a four-game winning streak so far. And Idaho State, they are on a three-game losing streak after starting the year 2-2. Two and two. Bengals have the ninth-best pass defense, and they're going up against the 111th pass offense. So, definitely a matchup to look out for right there. Toreros, sixth-ranked defense in the country. They have been stout all season long. Let's get it. I'm ready. And I hope you guys are, too. Slap that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to get yourself on one of our 12 schools here in the FCS Dynasty. All right. Let's try the Baby Blues. Let's get it. And let me get this shared in the Discord. Slim Chris in the chat. Tyler Rocky. Ron Kent. Craniac Gaming. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody is just doing fantastic here on Sunday. Let me share this in the Discord. Let's get it. Eric Tavares in the chat as well. What's going on, Eric? And we are going to receive the opening kickoff of the ball game. Turn my volume up in my headset. Get my chat up on my phone. Here is Avani Williams on the return up past the 20-yard line. All right. Let's get the offense on the field. We'll go over the offense here in a moment after this play. Chaos Driven, my brother, in the chat. What's going on, man? Bobby Ballard, first play of the game. Gets the carry, picks up seven or eight yards. Let's take a look at the offense. That is not the right one. Oh, man, this is a big old mess. Apparently, when my power went out, it actually took San Diego's roster template right off of OBS. That's kind of weird. Alright, we'll get back to that. Second down and two. Robbie Ballard again getting the carry. Right sideline and up to the 40-yard line. Bear with me now. I did not realize that OBS got so messed up. I haven't really been on my computer at all since my town lost power and, and you know, in the middle of the stream. I was not very happy. All right. We're just going to keep feeding the beast. This time he's only going to get a yard. But with that, we will take a look at the offense. There it is. Sophomore quarterback, Xavier Wilson. He's been pretty good this season so far for the Toreros. And in the backfield, Robbie Ballard. Blocking for him is Bo Davis at fullback. Receiving core of Doug Lay, Demetrius Primetime, George, Riley Porter, and true freshman, Vonnie Williams. And at left tackle, Brick Wall. And there's Wilson. I pitched it a little too early. And Ballard gets nothing. Marvin Joseph in the chat. What's going on, Marvin? Hammer Jammer. On two different accounts. You got to love it. John Perez in the chat. What's going on, man? How long did I lose power for? Uh, I think we lost power for about four hours that day. Three or four hours. It was extremely unfortunate. Primetime George. He's got it inside the 30. Let's go. First down, San Diego. All right. Let's go a little play action here. First down and 10 at the 29-yard line. Uh-oh. 
Throw it up. That's a quick incompletion. Oh, boy. Rough start. Xavier Wilson. Andrew just back on the play. Toreros do not have a subscriber backup quarterback. They do have Eric Spears Jr. on the roster, but he is not eligible to play until next season due to transfer rules. He is from Cal Poly. Regear Productions in the chat. What's going on, man? Tom Schaefer. What's going on, brother? I don't know who Castillo is. Let's see what he can do. Castillo! Inside the 15-yard line. Nice run for the backup. All right. Hopefully, uh, Xavier Wilson can come back in this ballgame. It would be a shame if he's injured. I don't know how this team would do without him. J.P. Parker in the chat. What's up, J.P.? How you doing, man? Robbie Ballard. Touchdown, San Diego. Touchdown for Tess. Terrero's on top. 6-0 here in the first quarter. Let's go. Great start to the ball game. I was a little nervous before I started this stream. I saw some lightning outside. There was some thunder. But now it's just a clear blue sky. You got to love upstate New York. You just got to love it. I mean, not really, but, you know, America. Extra point. Up, and it is good. 7-0. Toreros have the lead. I plan on streaming pretty much all night, guys. So grab drinks, popcorn, you know, whatever you're into. Whatever tickles your fancy. All right, let's get the defense on the field now. We'll go over the defenders here in a moment. Bengals at their own 20-yard line to start off the drive. They're going to go play action. Deep shot, left side, and it's picked off. Demarcus Green down the sideline, still going. He's got blockers. Green is down inside the five-yard line. What an interception. Oh, my goodness. Free safety almost rumbled all the way for the score. Let's go. My goodness, what a play. Look at the blocking. Just outrageous. All right, let's, uh, I didn't even get a chance to go over the offense, or the defense. It just ended so quickly for, for their offense. Xavier Wilson, luckily, will be back in this ballgame. Just a strain back, out for two quarters. We're going to have to rely heavily on the ground attack. And here's Bo Davis, the fullback, and runs a man over. Still going. He's going to lose a couple yards, though. All right, second and goal from the four. Davis will get it back to the two-yard line. Who plays next? Um, we'll go over that at halftime. Don't you worry now. All right, third and goal from the two. Marvin taking shots at Hammer. You love to see it. And Robbie Ballard punches it in. Another touchdown for the Toreros and another one. For Tess. Two for Ballard already in the first quarter. Just carries the defender in there. Don't count the Bengals out just yet, Eric. I have been shut out in one half this season. I'm just saying. Crazy things can happen. Mitchell looking to have a big game for Savannah State. I like it. They need it. Three losses on the season. They need a big spark. They can still win the ACC, though. Just need a couple dominoes to fall in their favor. All right, let's get it. All right, can we go over the defense now? 
Can we do that? All right, here's the San Diego defense. Defensive end, Boom Johnson. D-tackle is DJ Payne. Middle linebackers, Luke Moss and Rob Roy. In the secondary, Isaac Price. True freshman corner, Zachary Joseph. And at free safety, we just saw him have the interception, Demarcus Green. And All-American strong safety, Dylan Tong. That pass is almost picked off by Rob Roy. Second down and 10. And that pass is incomplete. Quarterback's having a rough time already. After that interception, needs to compose himself. I believe Savannah State is playing Bethune Cookman tonight, if I'm not mistaken. And there's going to be a sack, and I think that is DJ Payne. Yes, it is. The D tackle. And the Bengals are going to go three and out. You didn't get the YouTube notification, JP? Make sure you guys are hitting that bell on the channel so you can get all of the notifications. All that good stuff. I feel like my chair is going to fall apart midstream. It's going to be fun. Fourth down and 16. Zachary Joseph. A freshman, oh my goodness, what a booming punt all the way inside the 30-yard line. Joseph will return it and gets it up to the 35. Still looking for his first career touchdown. He'll get one eventually. Bethune, you're good then? So disrespectful to the Wildcats. All right, we're keeping it on the ground here. Robbie Ballard, look out. Cutting back to the inside, breaking tackles left and right up to the 41-yard line. The junior halfback is over 1,000 yards on the season. What a run. My goodness gracious. Might get 70 points on Bethune. So disrespectful. Probably right, but you know. Castillo dives for the first down. Let's go. Random computer backup. You have notifications on. You've been getting them, but not this time. Well, at least you're in the Discord, too. If you don't get the one notification, you'll get the other. Bobby Ballard, two yards up the middle. See what this quarterback can do. Throw on the football. Quick pass. And I'm not sure what happened there. We're just going to move on. Third down and nine. From the 28-yard line. If we don't get any yards here, it'll be a 45-yard field goal attempt. Hopefully we can get some yards, though. That would be fantastic. Who won it? Nice blocking. Nice blocking. Go upfield. Go upfield. Prime time. Oh, we got it inside the five. What a catch by Prime Time George. Let's go. Can't believe he actually caught that as he's getting hit. Beautiful play. Two for two in the red zone tonight. They have two touchdowns. Less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Robbie Ballard gets the carry down to the one-yard line. Looked like he had some space there. Linebacker closed the gap rather quickly. Number two in the land in the red zone. 96%. And Bo Davis, the fullback, is going to get a touchdown, but it's coming back due to holding. It'll drop the Toreros back to their own 11-yard line. All right, that opens up the playbook just a little bit. All 
All right, Castillo. We pass over the middle. What a catch, and that's a touchdown for Mason. The tight end, non-subscriber player. Another touchdown for Tess here in the first quarter for San Diego. And a nice throw from Castillo. Don't even know his first name. Not that important. Extra point. Up and good. It's 21 nothing now in Pocatello, Idaho. Guerrero's looking to dominate tonight in Pac-10 action. A different Castillo on for the kickoff. Boots it six yards deep in the end zone, and Jackson will kneel it down. See if the Bengals can, I don't know, maybe get some positive yards on this drive. I don't think they have any first downs in the game yet. Deep shot over the middle, and it's somehow caught by Gray. DeMarcus Green could not get there, and true freshman cornerback Zachary Joseph has injured his chest on the play, making the tackle. That is unfortunate. So we're going to have Moody in there on the right cornerback spot. Non-subscriber player. Nice deflection by Rob Roy, the middle linebacker. His second of the ball game. Now nine seconds left in the first. What is that animation? Nice play by Gray, and he is in for the score. Idaho State closing the gap a little bit. Gray with two outstanding plays on that drive, leading to Bengal points. Very athletic play right there. Nice little hurdle. And they immediately went after Moody on the right side of the field. And, of course, I get a terrible animation with Dylan Tong. You love to see it. Three plays, 80 yards, 27 seconds. Feels real bad. And back to return. It's going to be Doug Lay. And gets no blocking. Drop it to 15. Uh, we still got Castillo in there at quarterback. Zachary Joseph will return. A strained pectoral. Final play of the first quarter. Here is Robbie Ballard again getting the carry. And a nice stiff arm on the star safety. And that'll end the first. 21-7. Toreros on top of the Idaho State Bengals in Pac-10 play. All right, 162 yards of offense for the Toreros in the first quarter. And Ballard is going to be brought down, and they're not going to call the face mask. So that brings up third down and two. Toreros perfect on third downs. Three of three. And oh my goodness, he's going to get it for him. Trucking two defenders. He's got 75 yards. On 12 carries in the first half. Robbie Ballard, you are ridiculous, sir. I'll have you guys know, I went to the store today, and I got me some Arnold Palmer cans just for the streams. Let's go, Castillo. Okay, pitch it out. Ballard still going. Look out. Inside the 40-yard line. What a play from Castillo. Holding on to the football to the last second. Beautiful execution. Nice stiff arm again from Ballard. Oh my goodness. 
He's got to have 100 yards now, right? He's got to. Castillo, deep shot. Vonnie Williams has a step, and the freshman is in for another touchdown for San Diego. Oh, my goodness. Castillo's got an arm on him. That's another touchdown for Tess in the first half. My goodness. You've never drank an Arnold Palmer from a can. Hammer? I'm just going to have to say, um, I'm disappointed in you, sir. Make it happen. I will send you one. All right, five plays. 85 yards, a minute and four seconds off the clock. Guerrero's back to a three-touchdown lead over the Bengals of Idaho State. Let's get it. Come on, Rob. Or not. Okay, DeMarcus Green gets the stop. All right, defense. Let's go. Hopefully, Joseph is back in there in the right cornerback spot. It looks like he is. And Dylan Tong with a shoestring tackle. You'd love to see that. Nine-yard catch for Samuel. Got to keep him contained. He is very fast. Add vodka to the Arnold Palmer. I'm good, Eric. I'm good, buddy. No alcohol for me, sir. Play action. And almost intercepted. Bounced off of Dylan Tong's shoulder pad. Backup quarterback outplaying the starter right now. And third down and one is Blitz. Bennett, 12 touchdowns, 12 picks on the season. Mediocre at best. We hand it off. Tackle here, and that's a first down and more. Look out. Get him. Oh, how do you miss that tackle, Price? Touchdown, Idaho State. They have no quit in them. My goodness, 73 yard touchdown run. Told you guys, don't count them out just yet. Both of their touchdown drives were 80 plus yards on three plays. Top five defense struggling a little bit. And here's a return from Bonnie Williams. He will get it at the goal line. Nice juke and gets it. Oh, he fumbles it. And Idaho State recovers. And he's gone. Touchdown Bengals. Just like that, it's a one score game. The wacky <laughs> Pac-10 gets even crazier here today. All the momentum on Idaho State's side at the moment. How quickly a game can change, folks. Absolutely insane. And this time they're gonna kick it the other side. Doug Lay on the return, the junior wide receiver. He'll get it out of bounds around the 28 yard line. Got ourselves a ball game, folks. Oh, my goodness. They're going to dominate us now. Second down and 11 from the 26. 
Deep shot to primetime George. He's got it inside the 25-yard line. Let's go, Castillo. He's got a cannon. Man, that ball was in the air for a week and a half. It almost got to their next game. Castillo, 5 of 6, 137 yards, two touchdowns, filling in for the injured Xavier Wilson. Okay, then. Okay. Free safety is in the zone. Let's try to stay away from him. As we pick up a couple yards up the middle with Robbie Ballard. Back up looking legit. Yeah, he is pretty decent. I can't lie. He's a pocket passer, too. Perry H. in the chat. What's up, Perry? Welcome, my friend. And Doug lay wide open inside the 10-yard line. That was a rope from Castillo. First and goal. This quarterback can play. Three trips to the red zone tonight. Three touchdowns. Robbie Ballard gets the carry, dropped at the line of scrimmage. The Bengals closed in on him fast. And Castillo going to be dropped. Very quick pressure by Bonner off the left edge right there. Do I know if there's in-season recruiting in 04? There is not, sir. All right, third down and seven, basically. Let's try to hit George, back corner of the end zone. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe? Oh, almost got it there, too. What a try from Castillo. 24-yard field goal attempt. I'm going to put the Toreros up by 10 points. Disappointing getting down to the red zone and only getting three points. But it's 31 21. There's 132 left in the half. Terreros on top of the Bengals. And Jackson will get it up past the 20 yard line of the 22. And let's try to play some defense now. Over 300 yards of offense for San Diego. Idaho State has only had the ball for 10 plays on offense so far in the game. Good pass over the middle. Caught. Nicholson picks up 8 or 9 yards. They're going to call a timeout. They have two left. Pretty balanced attack so far from the Bengals. 67 on the ground. 98 in the skies. Play action. He shot over the middle. Caught by Wyatt. And he's down at the 48. Bengals driving again. Little zone coverage here. He shot over the middle. Nice deflection by the freshman, Zachary Joseph. Got his hand in there at the last second to knock it away. Let's go. Dylan Tong with the pick. And he fumbles it. No. It's recovered by Samuel. Oh, my goodness. Just can't catch a break tonight. Dylan Tong, so many interceptions in his career. 
will most likely be a first round draft pick in the first ever Elite Football League draft. He's been such a beast for the Toreros his whole career. Off tackle left side, Jackson in the open field, Rob Roy brings him down at the 22 and another timeout. One remaining. Quick pass, and it's caught by Samuel. Nice team tackle. First and go from the nine. And they're gonna go option. Pitch it out to Jackson. Dylan Tong brings him down, and that's a gain of one for Justin Jackson. And they're going to get stuck in this option attack here. And they try the spin move. Rob Roy shuts that down. No gain. Call a timeout here. I don't want to choose the computer out of an actual attempt here. So they're just going to keep doing that same option play. That's not really fair. All right, third and goal from the eight. And almost, almost caught off the deflection. But the Bengals will have to settle for a field goal try. Twenty-five yard attempt. And it is good. We're back to a touchdown score. 31-24. If we fumble on this return, I'm retiring from YouTube. What's up? Doug Lay. Eh, we'll, we'll down. That's a good way to avoid early retirement, you know? All right, we should be getting Xavier Wilson back in the third quarter, even though Castillo has been playing lights out under center. Robbie Ballard in the zone. Watch out for him. Breaking a tackle. Picks up 13 yards. 11 seconds. We got one timeout left. Sacked. All right, cool. Bonner, another sack. The All-American defensive end tearing our left tackle brick wall apart. That's going to end the first half. Terrell's on top, 31 to 24 here in Pocatello, Idaho. In Pac-10 play. Our next game is going to be more Pac-10 action, folks. Eastern Washington Eagles travel to take on the 11th-ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds as we continue Week 10 play. Oh, he's going to take it out. Okay. And nice broken tackle. Look out. He might go. Get him, Moody. Okay. Oh, my goodness. They just don't want to go away, man. I'm telling you. Bengals are fighting. Oh, yeah. Dr. Pepper. Oh, oh, no. It exploded. I got soda on me. Somebody help me. I'm scared. I'm new. I don't know what to do. I got the drink on me. Computer's going to have to play defense for me on this play. Could be terrible. Just Jackson off tackle. And nice tackle by Zachary Joseph. I see you, freshman. Anyways, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my own soda pop. I got me some Dr. Pepper and cream soda. Combined. It's actually delicious. If you haven't tried it yet, I suggest doing so. Not an official sponsor, by the way. That would be sick. Jackson, I think he got the first down on that play. At the 44-yard line. So I should only drink Arnold Palmer's. Yeah, I know. I was doing so good. I've only had a couple sodas the past few weeks. 
but then I saw that and you know I had to get it because it's delicious on defense let's get it and there's a sack who got him I don't know who that is number 50 you're a legend Alright, second down and 16 now. So I had to use a shirt that was next to me to clean up soda off my floor. Feels bad. What you gonna do? Left side, Nicholson hit out of bounds at the 40. Alright, third down and five. Big play. Big play. This could be bad because I have man coverage over here on a guy that I cannot see. And it doesn't matter. Dylan Tong with a deflection. Let's go. Fourth down. They're going to go for it. From our 39-yard line. Sponsored by Dr. Pepper. Imagine. Small little channel gets sponsored by Dr. Pepper. I would lose my mind. And they are going to get the first down. Oh, my goodness. Dr. Pepper, Nectar of the Gods. Yes, sir. Defense, I'm disappointed. We're having a rough go of it. Single back set for the Bengals. Play action. And Dylan Tong stops that play around the 30-yard line. Tong in the zone now at strong safety. I got one-on-one -on -one coverage with the halfback. They're going to go play action again. Left side almost picked off. Rob Roy has his third deflection of the game. With a linebacker playing great out here in pass coverage. Third down and seven. Can we stop him this time? They're two of five on third down conversions. Quarterback draw with a pocket passer. He's going to fumble it, and it's recovered by Hunt. Terreros get the takeaway. Let's go. Who forced it? That is Luke Moss, the junior middle linebacker. Gets the forced fumble. He has been such a solid player in the middle of that defense. All right, we got Xavier Wilson back in the game. That quarterback. You like the Dr. Pepper made with cane sugar that comes in bottles? Yeah, those those ones are fantastic. And Ballard going to lose a yard up the middle. He's got 121 for the game. And he's in the zone. Let's go speed option. Hopefully uh, Wilson does not get hurt this time. Could be decent. Oh, Ballard. Ballard still going up to the 45-yard line. Just carrying everybody. Don't you boo me, Eric. Don't you do it. So hurtful. Bo Davis, the fullback. He's going to pick up four. Or not, they'll give him three. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Alright, their free safety is in the zone. And we're going to take off. Oh, Ballard, let's go. Wide open. Down to the 30-yard line. Great throw from Wilson. Moving the chains. So hurtful, Eric. Just so hurtful. Yeah. 
can't cheer for a rival team. You can cheer for me though. Come on now. Nice little play action. Bo Davis, what is that throw, Xavier? My man's is wide open. Come on now. El Terrible. All right, second down and 10. Primetime George, another terrible throw. What is this? Everybody's going to call for Castillo to get put back in the game now. Except for Eric. He wants me to fail. We're down in 10. Primetime George is wide open down to the 7 yard line. That was a fantastic throw as George goes over the century mark receiving tonight. Beautiful route. First and goal from the seven. Through safety in the zone. And we can't pitch it and we fumble it. Oh my goodness. Wow. I think that's just the second time this season that the Toreros get into the red zone and don't get points out of it. That's a feels bad. It, wow. Doug Lay kind of bounced into his arm. That's unfortunate, guys. We just don't want to win tonight. That's what it is. We want to give them every opportunity we can to let them win. That's what I feel like right now. Get him! Dylan Tong with the tackle. Three-yard carry from Jackson. Fumble cheese. <laughs> yeah, a couple fumbles already in this game. Or was that our third? Is that our third fumble? Might have been. I lost count. Dylan Tong almost has the pick. I read that perfectly. All right, they're down in seven. Let's get the ball back quickly. I like how we got up to 18 viewers, and the game got really good, and everybody left. Like, what is? What do you mean? <laughs> I don't understand. Play action. Deep shot, one on one. Zachary Joseph can't make the play. And Gray is over 100 yards receiving on three catches. Perfect positioning. And we get an awful animation where he tries to catch it like the ball's going out of bounds. Come on now. Don't pick on my freshman like that. Receiver almost stepped out of bounds on that play as well. Jackson in the zone at halfback. Oh, man. What a catch by Gray. No gain, though. Boom Johnson gets his second tackle of the game. All-American defensive end. Marvin, I think you say the same thing about Joseph every game. <laughs> Deep shot over the middle, wide open is Nicholson. And I go for a big hit, and he rips his face off instead. That is a feels bad. All right, let's just, let's just give him the win. It's fine. Everything's fine. They're not too bad in the red zone as well, 87%. That's not bad. Off tackle, of course it is. And there's the big hit. Let's go, Dylan. Let's go, baby. Second down and goal from the four. They're off tackle play. Dylan Tong has run over this time, but DJ Payne is there to clean up the play. 
And that is going to end the third quarter, guys. Get your fours up in the chat. We got a close one here in Pocatello, Idaho. Terrell's on top, 31 to 24. Bengals deep in Terrero territory at the four-yard line. Third and goal. They're three of seven on third downs tonight. And they're going to go off tackle again, and they're not going to get it. A huge stop. And that is Rob Roy, who has been all over the field in this game. And they're going to go for it on fourth and goal. Four receivers set for the Bengals. We got single coverage across the board. And it's going to be caught. A huge hit on Wyatt, but he holds on to it. Touchdown, Bengals. And they're going to tie things up. That was a great drive. I just want to block one field goal. Just one. 86-yard touchdown drive. Uh, nine plays, over two minutes off the clock. Offense. Let's see if we can hold on to the football now. Oh my goodness. Is that Bonner again? He is just playing out of his mind. Play action. And prime time wide open. Gets it up past the 40. He has been outstanding tonight. I think that's his fifth catch. And he's over 150 yards receiving for the game. Just a beautiful performance from Mr. Primetime. Not bad on the season. 24 catches, 563 yards, two scores. Oh my goodness gracious. Bonner again is eighth sack of the season. He's such a beast. So hard to even block him at all. High snap. Quick pass to Ballard out of bounds. That's gonna be a loss of five. Oh my goodness. Third down, 21 yards to go from the 32. We are 5 of 6 on third downs in the game. Oh my goodness, it's Bonner again. We got rid of it, and it's caught by Doug Lane. No way, what a throw from Xavier Wilson. you got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. That is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Let's see how close he was to stepping out of bounds here. Oh my. Look at that throw. What is this? <laughs> that is so great. You got to love that, guys. You got to. Oh man. Unbelievable. Wilson, 6 of 9, 125 yards for the game. Throw it up. Bo Davis, the fullback, gets the catch. Just one yard on the reception. Seen some very athletic plays in this game. Robbie Ballard up the middle. He's going to get two. They've kind of shut him down in the second half. All right, 
Third down and six. Field goal from here would be a 50 yarder. I'd rather not attempt one of those. Throw it up. Riley Porter has it. Riley Porter explodes inside the 15 yard line. The acceleration. So good. Right, that's what I'm talking about. Eight plays, 66 yard drive, over two minutes off the clock. And Xavier Wilson, that's a face mask. They're not going to call it again. We've seen a couple of those in this game. Not called by the ref. Second down and three. Bo Davis is going to fumble it again. Oh, my goodness. What is going on with all these fumbles tonight? you got to be kidding me. Brick wall falls on it. I, I would have lost my mind if we lost that football right there. Robbie Ballard is in the zone. we got to give it to him. Ballard, touchdown, Toreros, touchdown for Tess. They take the lead back. Five-yard score. I believe that's his third of the game as his team dogpiles him in the end zone. Two thirty-one to go. Toreros about to go up by seven. Extra point up in good. It's 38-31. 11 plays, 79 yards, 307 off the clock. Just an incredible drive from San Diego. And a decent return from Jackson. He falls over. A defender and then gets taken down. Top five defense in the country. They got to step it up, though. They've allowed a lot of yards here tonight. This is a halfback pass. And Dylan Tong with a huge hit on Jackson. That's one of the things in this game that I wish wasn't in it. Is when you have man coverage and it's a halfback pass, you can see one of your guys has to cover the quarterback. It's not fair. But it's too fun to get the big hits. I gotta do it. Play action, there's a sack again. And that's Hunt, his second of the game. And that will make it third down and 22. From the six yard line. This drive is taking a turn for the worse for the Bengals. Deep shot left side caught and out of bounds around the 17. We'll make it fourth and 11. Obviously, they're going to go for it. They're two for two on fourth down in this game. As infuriating as that makes me feel, you know. I'm upset. I'm gonna take a deep shot. Left side. One-on-one -on -one coverage. And it's caught. Demarcus Green, who almost had a pick six in the first quarter, allows the big time pass from Billy Bennett on fourth down. They just have no quit. What a catch by Nicholson to keep his team alive. 100 yards for him in the game as well on four catches. It's not bad. 25-yard average. Pretty decent. Deep shot right side. Gray down to the 15-yard line. He's got 142 yards.
toss it out, wide receiver reverse, it's a fumble, recovered by Luke Moss, let's go, Joseph injured again on the play, but the Toreros get the huge takeaway with just over a minute left in the game, I believe that was Rob Roy who forced the fumble, we just got to get one first down and this game will be over, five combined fumbles in the game, seven total turnovers. I'll be Ballard, nice juke. And we're gonna move the chains on the first play. Might have to get another first down though. Ballard getting the carry. Ballard breaking tackles and picks up nine yards. 162 for him. Another first down will end the game. And Bo Davis falls forward and the fullback picks up the first down. Bengals call their final timeout and that's going to ice this one. What a great game it was, folks. Everybody counted the Bengals out in the first quarter. But they stormed back. And they made this a ball game. The crowd not happy, rightfully so. But you got to give it up, you know, give it up to their team. They really played their hearts out. Gave it everything they had. Came down to a, a really odd call <laughs> inside the red zone. A wide receiver reverse, which results in a fumble lost. And ultimately, a lost game. Xavier Wilson going to kneel it down, and that's going to do it, folks. The Toreros of San Diego get the close victory over Idaho State, 38-31. to And San Diego is bowl eligible just a year after having a losing record in Season 2 of this series. Our next game, Eastern Washington at number 11, Southern Utah Eagles. Thunderbirds right after this stream folks. So stick around for that one after we take a look at the stats and Players of the game and all that fun stuff Bengals still have a shot at the bowl season. They're two and six. They got to win out though Jack Brown head coach getting doused with the Gatorade as he gets his team bowl eligible for the first time in his career Congratulations to him and his squad for getting back on track. And that guy was hugging Savannah State's national championship hopes. All right, let's take a look at these stats. Not a whole lot of defense being played in this game. 477 yards of offense for the Toreros, 377 for Idaho State. Over 300 passing for Billy Bennett. Torero was 8 of 9 on third down. That is just outrageous. All right, no punts in the game for San Diego. Just two penalties in the game. And Torero's do dominated. Time of possession, 15 minutes to 9. Wow. And the box score was 21 nothing. Everybody was writing them off. And then, I mean, they, they scored literally two touchdowns in 8 seconds. So... <laughs> They came storming back. Well, Robbie Ballard, great game from him. Billy Bennett, hats off to the redshirt senior. He played fantastic. Travis Castillo, redshirt freshman quarterback. 5 of 7, 139 yards, 2 touchdowns, no picks. Xavier Wilson played great as well. 8 of 11, 146 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Ballard, 162 yards, 3 scores. Oh, Davis, 7 yards for the fullback. And a fumble. Wilson with a fumble as well. 16 broken tackles for Robbie Ballard. He is such a monster. Demetrius George, no touchdowns in the game, but he averaged 30 yards per catch on five receptions. Bonnie Williams had the touchdown, and Warren Mason, freshman tight end, had one as well. Any drops? Any drops? No drops for the receiving core. 
brick wall. Got absolutely dominated by Bonner on that left side. Feels really bad. Dylan Tong, Rob Roy both had seven tackles. Zachary Joseph had six, and he missed a quarter. That just means he was allowing plenty of catches on that right side. Got a lot of room to improve for the corner. A couple interceptions. Dylan Tong, Demarcus Green. Bunch of deflections. I almost pulled a Kyle Shanahan. Absolutely not, sir. I can't control all the fumbles. I'm just saying. All right. And we only have one punt return today. All right, players of the game. Robbie Ballard, Castillo, and Luke Moss. Evans, Gray, and Bonner for the Idaho State Bengals. And that is going to be it for this stream, guys. Another Pac-10 game in the books. Another FCS Dynasty Season 3 matchup in the books. As we continue on our Week 10 path, our next game, right after this stream, we're going to have the Eastern Washington Eagles travel to take on the 11th-ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds. That's going to be in Cedar City, Utah. Another Pac-10 game. Should be a fun one. Thunderbirds, two losses on the season couple of really tough losses for them. They lost to Tennessee State. And who was the other team they lost to? Was it San Diego? No. It was one of our other schools. That's all I remember. But, hopefully you guys enjoyed this matchup. I know I did. The game was absolutely bonkers. If you haven't already, please slap the like button on your way out of the stream. Subscribe if you are new. And join our Discord community to get on the football field here in the FCS Dynasty for one of our 12 schools. Just give me five minutes and I'll get that next stream set up, folks. Until then, take it easy.